Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's TCS Code Beta interview experience. Guys, again, I am saying that this interview happened today only. That is on sixth May two thousand twenty-two. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end and do not skip any question that I have, I have discussed in this video. Guys, previously also I have uploaded many interview experiences of TCS for both Ninja profile as well as for the Digital profile. You can simply visit my channel and search here TCS interview and you can see that. Lot of TCS interview experiences have been uploaded on my channel. Because if you are preparing for these interviews, then kindly, then kindly watch all these videos for your help. And guys, recently only many of you have told me that I should start taking mock interviews for TCS Kota also. So guys, here I am with the mock interviews. Here you can see that we have created a service of TCS Kota mock interview plus resume review. So you can book your slot by clicking on this link. I will give you the link in the description box. Make sure to book your slot as soon as possible because the slots are limited and they are very filling very fast. As and also we have started taking mock interviews for various companies. Also, you can see here now the Infitico results are Infitico and Hack with Infi interviews are also starting. For them also we are taking mock interviews. So guys, kindly book your slot as soon as possible because the slots are limited and they are filling very fast. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button. As well as the subscribe for this channel. Okay, so as the date of the interview was today only, that is on sixth May two thousand twenty two. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was thirty minutes. And guys, you know that in TCS interview there are three rounds in a single round only. That is, there are three people sitting. One is TR, MR, and HR. So all those questions will be will be discussed in this video only. So kindly watch this till the end. Okay, so first we'll be discussing the technical round questions. Okay, so first question was, what is the difference between Java and C plus plus? So guys, the biggest difference between Java and C plus is is that Java is platform independent. Java bytecode works on any operating system. So first of all, Java Java code get compiled, it get converted into Java bytecode, and that bytecode is a platform independent. So you can say that Java is a platform independent language. Whereas C plus plus is a platform dependent language. So this is the major difference between between Java and C plus plus. Now Java is both compiled as well as interpreted language, whereas C plus plus is only compiled language. So again, this is also a difference between these two languages. So I hope the, these two differences are clear to you. Now move to the next question. Okay, can Java be used by hardware? So can Java interact with hardware? So the answer is yes. The Java can be can be interacted with hardware. Okay. Next question was, what is a class? And give example. So first of all, a class is a user-defined blueprint or a prototype from which objects are created. It represents a set of properties or methods that are common to all objects of one type. So for example, we have a class name vehicle. Now number of tires. Uh, now the number of tires, the uh, engine, the headlight, and more of these uh, feature will be common in all the vehicles irrespective of their type. So there will be four, uh, four tires. There will be head two headlights. So all these feature will remain common in uh, for all the type of vehicles. So you can say here a class. Again, you can say that a class is a blueprint of an object. It represents the set of properties or methods that are common to all the objects. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now you will have to give an example also of a class. So here is a simple example of a class dog. Here the name of the dog, then the breed of the dog, then age of the dog, and then color of the dog. Now these are the attributes which are common for all the dogs, irrespective of their breed. But there will there will be a name of that dog, there will be breed of that dog, there will be age of that dog, and color of that dog. And there are some methods also that are common for all the dogs. So I hope now this example of class is clear to you. So now moving to the next question. Okay, why do we use a break and a continuous statement? So again, it is a very commonly asked interview question that what is the difference between break and continuous statement? So first of all, the break statement is used to terminate the loop immediately. So let let let's just suppose a for loop is running, and whenever it will encounter a break statement, then that loop will stop to uh, stop to run, and it will come out. And the uh, you can say the code will come out of the loop. The loop will get break there, and then only it will stop running. But what is the what is continuous statement? A continuous statement is used to skip the current iteration of the loop. So when a break is encountered, the flow of the code moves outside of the loop. But when continuous statement is, uh, but when continuous statement is used, 
then that particular particular iteration of the loop is skipped where continue has occurred. So I hope now the difference between continue and break statement is clear to you. Now again break keyword is used to indicate break statement in Java programming. Continue keyword is used to indicate continue statement in Java programming. So when break is encountered, the flow of the code moves out of the loop. When continue is encountered that particular iteration of the for loop is skipped and uh, at the, end of the, uh, the flow moves to the next iteration of that for loop only. So I hope this difference is also clear to you. Next question is what is the default value of global variables? So guys if that global variable is int then the default value will be zero. <coughs> if the global variable is of the type boolean then the false will be the uh, default value. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is again it is a very commonly asked question in an interview that is explain oops concepts in detail. So guys there are four oops concepts. One is encapsulation, next is polymorphism, next is inheritance, then is abstraction. Now guys for this particular question, this particular question is so important that for the explanation of this question I have made a dedicated video on my channel. I will give you that link in the description box or in the i button. Make sure to visit it in that I have discussed each and every concept in detail with the help of the code. So again you can find all the uh, knowledge all the concept about oops in that video I will give you the link in the description box. Okay now moving to the next question can multiple inheritance be done in Java. So there are two answers with the help of classes we cannot perform multiple inheritance but with the help of interfaces we can perform multiple inheritance. So this is uh, so this is what the answer to this question is can multiple inheritance be done in Java. So many of you say no but you will have to specify no with the help of classes but yes with the help of interfaces. So I hope this particular question is clear to you. Now guys if you are feeling nervous for your uh, interview that is happening for uh, well, either it is today or tomorrow or any other day if you are feeling nervous then you can simply give us the mock interview for your <clears throat> for your preparation. We will tell you we will ask you each and every question in detail that are asked in real interviews and we will give you a feedback also that is positive and negative things also we will tell that how you were performing during the interview and how was your confidence level confidence level and how you can improve in the interview. So all these things we will be doing in the mock interviews. So kindly book your slot as soon as possible. The links are in the description box. They are filling very fast. So kindly book the slot as soon as possible. Okay. Next question is write the code for bubble sort. So guys yes you can be asked to share the screen and open an editor and there you there they asked you to write the code for the bubble sort algorithm. So again guys I will give you this link in the description box where you can see the entire algorithm about bubble sort. Okay now moving to the next question that is difference between for loop and while loop. So again guys in uh, there are two different types of loop there is for loop also there is while loop also and there is do while loop also. So difference between for loop and while loop. For loop initialization may be either in loop statement or outside the loop. Okay, the major difference between for loop and while loop is uh, uh, is how we declare them, how we define them using syntax. So here i can be initialized in for loop, i can be initialized inside the loop also and outside the loop also. But in while loop, i can only be initialized outside the loop only. So I hope this difference is clear to you, and there are many more differences you can see here between between these two loops. So as these were all the questions which were asked from the TR person. Now we will be seeing that what are the questions that were asked from managerial person. So first question was explain your projects. So guys if you have if you have mentioned two to three projects in your resume then you must prepare each and every project very carefully. You must be prepared with all the things that you have done in those projects because the interviewer can ask you to explain any of the any of the project that you have mentioned in your resume. So again when the interviewer asks you explain your project so it is your choice that which project you want to explain it to the interviewer. But again if the interviewer asks you that you have mentioned this project in your resume please explain this how you have done this. So then for this purpose only you will have to prepare all the projects that have been given in your resume very well. So I hope this question is also clear to you and guys I have again made a separate video on how to explain your project in an interview. If you do not know how to explain it then do watch that video again the video you will find in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it. Okay next question is what difficulties you face during the projects. So guys again there this is a commonly asked project related question that you have built this project what are the difficulties you face during the building of this project. So I hope you will be able to answer this question by yourself. 
and these were the two questions which are asked in the managerial round managed by by the managerial person there were uh, there can be some situational based question can also be asked from this person but in this interview no situational based question was asked just these two questions were asked by the managerial person so i hope this particular question is also clear to you now move to the next thing that is the hr person the question that were asked from the hr person first was what are your hobbies again it is dependent on you that what you want to say why you want to join tcs again you must know at least two to three latest point about tcs that on what projects they are working what are the recent news which companies they have acquired which companies they have collaborated with so all these things you must know about the company for which you are giving the interview and you can frame your answer by those points only next is what do you know about tcs so again you must know two to three recent news as i have already told you it will be it will be a good impact on the interviewer that yes you have came prepared for this interview next question is can you relocate so again it is dependent on you but if you will ask for my suggestion please say yes that you can relocate so all these questions were asked from the hr person so in this interview we have discussed tr questions also mr questions also and hr questions also and again if you are not feeling confident for your interview you can always book mock interviews with us we will guide you through entire interview process we will tell you what type of questions are asked we will tell you what were the good points in you what were the bad points in you <clears throat> and we will give you a detailed analysis on your performance in these mock interviews so guys this was it for this video please like this video if you have not liked it till now please subscribe the channel and do share this video among your friends because lot of interview experiences will be posted on this channel and i know the tcs quality interviews are going on and you are very nervous about them and also if you have if you know anyone who has uh, infosys dsc sc profile interview they can also book the mock interviews with us or uh, given the link in the description box so guys thank you for watching this video